LG V30 stands out from the competition enough to be considered LG's true flagship phone for 2017, not the LG G6, it's impressive, albeit instantly outmatched smartphone from 6 months ago. That's an unexpected relief because the LG V20 came onto the scene last year and its rivals frankly picked apart everything unique it had going for it. The HTC U Ultra lifted the second screen for notifications, and just about every flagship phone now utilizes a dual-lens camera. So how has LG's experimental smartphone branch moved forward? By focusing on the subtleties, ditching the device of design, and producing its most bold, feature-packed device yet. But making all of the right moves comes at a high cost. $809 in the US, £799 in the UK when it launches in November, and $1199 Australian dollars in Australia for the LG V30 Plus, the only model this region will be served, which differs only in its internal storage. Update: Despite not having Android Oreo, the LG V30 is one of the best Android phones that you can buy, so we'd be remiss to omit that you'll be able to snag one on discount during the holiday season in the US. If you're already set on a smartphone, you can start thinking about LG's next device, the LG G7. That amount of money will basically get you any flagship phone on the market, or at least most of one if you are on the hunt for the iPhone X and for some, LG took far too long following the V30's late August announcement to bring it to market. Since then, the essential phone, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and Google Pixel 2 XL have been revealed to the world. But even with this stellar year for Android smartphones, LG's nearly bezel-free device easily makes its case for the cash. We've now spent more than enough time with the final review unit and have worked to scoop through each and every feature, there are many, to be found within LG's latest smartphone.